A 12.8 volts 100 amp hours battery can power a TV, laptop, refrigerator and fan for 10 hours. If you're wondering how, stick around and watch this video to the end to get the details. You'll also learn how to optimize your energy usage to increase the hours of runtime of your battery. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing now and turning the video notification bell on to see more videos like this one. To figure out the load carrying capability of a 12.8 volts 100 amp hour lithium battery and the number of hours it can last, you have to know the battery capacity or how much energy the battery stores. Energy is calculated by multiplying battery nominal voltage which is 12.8 volts by its current rating of 100 amp hours. Thus, the battery offers 1,280 watt-hours of energy. For safety and efficiency, we can discharge 95% of battery energy. So, we have a 95% battery efficiency or 0.95 depth of discharge. Now that we know the capacity of the battery, we have to consider the list of devices we want to connect to the battery and the total sum of energy consumption or wattage by all the devices. Wattage is the total amount of power consumption from load or devices which is measured in watts per hour. Summing up the energy consumption by all the devices, we have 180 watts. Devices use either DC or AC current. Battery produces DC or direct current. A device which uses DC can be connected directly to the battery, if it has the same voltage as the battery voltage. On the other hand, an inverter is needed to convert DC to AC to run devices which use AC. Assuming some or all our devices use AC, we will need an inverter which uses some energy to convert DC to AC. Energy loss due to conversion depends on inverter efficiency. A good inverter has 90% or 0.9 efficiency and a loss factor of 15 to 20 watts per hour. With 20 watts energy loss, wattage equal 200 watts. If we factor in inverter efficiency and battery depth of discharge, we will have a safety factor of 11.1. Multiplying the safety factor by load wattage gives us a total power consumption of 220 watts. For the runtime or number of hours a 12.8 volts 10 amp hour life PO4 can run the listed devices, we have 5.8 hours. But this battery can run these devices longer. Let's consider the list again and the power rating of each device. TV is rated 40 watts. Assuming this TV has an eco function, turning it on will reduce power consumption by 30%. Thus, we can update this to 28 watts. Fridge is rated 50 watts. If the compressor gets to run for 3 hours in 5 hours, it will use 150 watts in 5 hours which if we divide by 5 hours, we get 30 watts per hour. For the laptop, when it's fully charged, the amount of power it uses goes down to 25 watts. If it takes 2 hours to charge, it uses 120 in the first 2 hours and 75 watts to run for another 3 hours. So it uses 195 watts in 5 hours and an average of 39 watts each hour. Fan is rated 30 watts. However, dialing down the fan speed reduces fan energy draw by 30%. 30 watts becomes 21 watts. By adjusting the values in the table based on actual power consumption, we have a total wattage of 590 watts in 5 hours of runtime. If we factor in inverter efficiency, energy loss, and battery depth of discharge, total energy consumption in 5 hours equals 759 watts. You can get a total of 8.4 hours of runtime from the battery bank. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like it.